even here or there, wherever it is, but we're gonna make a circle. We're gonna hold hands. Okay. It's gonna be. A, I'm gonna speak a little bit. Casey's gonna speak a little bit. Captain Fogarty is gonna speak a little bit. I'm gonna say our prayers. And if somebody else feels so inclined, please do. After that, and then at 10 o'clock, we have another prayer that I think we're going across the street. Um, I think I definitely want a group of us, whoever feels it, to go put hands on the building itself and pray. We're praying for the wisdom and the righteousness yes. of the justices for them to rule wisely. But most importantly, we are praying for God to do what God does. We don't know, and we can't judge. God God knows, and we don't. Right? So that's kind of the idea right now. Um, I wanted to go and circle over there, but we got some sun here. We should all stand on this thing. That way we're all there. Yeah, and everybody's out. Oh my God. Wow. Good. Yeah, yeah. I love it. From here to there, she's got individuals that sit over there. Okay. Hands up the No, she's in the group. We're going to have to make a group. I do pull our hands out. Hearing. Well, but it's not necessarily any individual file like that. I don't know. How do you feel it? It's just do a circle. Come on, y'all. I like that. Yeah, you made it. You made it. Oh, Stephanie, just in time. <laughs> yeah, that was late last year. That's okay. That's why we do 930. I say 9 and we don't mean 9. Let's. All right, let's come out over here. Let's all, all right. come out right over here. Let's hold, <coughs> hold hands. We got one minute to 9.30. <coughs> let's just make a circle. Hey, Mike. Hey, how, are how you doing? How are you? Good. Good, good. good, good. We're, we're getting ready to pray right oh, now. Yeah, good. Coming in to join. Fantastic. Sure. All right, everybody. Let's spread out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to start. Here we go, Lou. Let's try to close the circle as big as we can get it. Close it. Stephanie, I'm glad you're here. Are you going live? That's awesome. Are you on? I'd love that. I'd love that. Any, any, any camera work. And let's just push out just a little bit. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right. That's looking good. All right. Very good. Very good. Leadership. Everybody put their phone on silent to the library. Okay. No, no, Fantastic. Perfect. Thank you all so much for showing up today. Phone on silent. Phone on silent. All right, all right, I'm doing that. I'm doing that too. I'm doing that too. I'm doing that too. I'm doing that too. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Wow. Congratulations. And he's running late. That's perfect. We got another two. We got another two soldiers here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here today. It is so greatly appreciated. Today, the Kane, Kyle, and New Yorkers for Religious Liberty cases are being deliberated on in that courthouse right there with three justices. There were supposed to be oral arguments. Our attorneys were supposed to come in and argue, but the justices canceled that, and they are deciding on the papers. That means they're deciding only what has been written. For some reason, this is what God wants. For some reason, this is where we are right now. And we come here today to pray in all faiths, in whatever your faith is. This is non-denominational. This is inclusive. This is for all. And we pray for the justices in that court today to rule wisely. We pray for them to be connected to their higher power. We pray for them to have the wisdom to be righteous and to rule righteously today and in all days ahead of them. And we call for God to strike down the religious discrimination that has plagued New York City for over a year now. We pray that these judges set right what was set wrong. The injustice that was done to many who are in this circle right now and to thousands throughout New York State throughout America and throughout the world. Many people have left this country now 
because of what happened to them when their religious exemption to vaccination was denied, when they were blackballed from seeking other employment. I get calls all the time from people who are on the verge of homelessness, losing their homes, their cars, marriages breaking up, and we pray for them now too. And we pray for them now too. We pray for everybody who has been impacted. We pray that God bestows mercy upon them, bestows glory upon them, and bestows bounty upon them. Thank you to everybody who is here right now with us. I want to pass this over to someone who has taught me so much about this battle and about the spiritual side of this battle. So much so I had to have her on my show a month or two ago. I'd like Casey, please, if you could speak to us a little bit. Well, Lead us in prayer. All, uh, I'm going my head because I'm asking God to anoint my words. All power unto God. The glory belongs to God. Um, we, God don't work with nothing. He just work with people of faith. Mm. And he said, those who believe. He said, if you put your trust in me, I shall not fail. So long as we put our trust in him, we already got the victory. We bind up all the works of the enemy. We bind up all the satanic forces that are operating against the universe and against humanitarian so humanity so God we thank thee we praise thee the praise stops the enemy the praise brings the blessing so God watch over each and every household everyone represented all those who had a mind to come which made it so God we thank you in advance and we will not forget you you the praise Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Casey. And I'd also like, if anybody wants to say a word after this gentleman says a word, please do. Please, please go right ahead. Um, but I want to pass this to a man who um, himself, his words have gone around the world uh, recently. Millions of people viewing his testimony at City Hall. But since that time, I've gotten to know him on, 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 a, on a personal level. And uh, he's a very spiritual man as well, too. Uh, Captain Brendan Fogan. Yeah. Hi uh, guys. Uh, it's nice to be here amongst my peers. You know, uh, and uh, I already said my prayer already in my head as everybody was speaking. And uh, yeah, Daddy. I've had a great life, 42 years here in the city, and uh, for the first time in my life, I, I know what persecution feels like, what discrimination feels like firsthand. I've had a privileged life, you know, and. Uh, I grew up in Brooklyn, I had parents who loved me, we had everything we needed, not everything we wanted, but everything we needed. And uh, this is the first time I've had to stand up like this and open my mouth, you know? And uh, I, I know I've opened my mouth once before, once or twice, but uh, I'm not gonna use the F word today. Today, uh, the F word's gonna be uh, faith and freedom. Amen! Amen. Woo! Glory to God! Yes. And, uh, that's what they're afraid of. That's what people are afraid of, you know? And uh, we talk about fear a lot. How they used fear to scare us to do things, you know? And uh, fear, guys told me that uh, God works with people, right? So yeah. they told me that, you know, fear means uh, face, face everything and recover. Or F everything and run. So I'm not going to run to Florida and stay here. Woo! Glory! Right. Fight! Face everything and recover. That's right. right. And uh, okay. pray, guys. This, this is why we're here. This is why we made this part. <coughs> Let God's will be done. You know. Thanks. Amen. 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 God's will be done. So and I'm gonna. Leave. We're on. We're on the one God. Go, go right ahead. Absolutely. We're on the one God, and He's very just. He's justable. Amen. Amen. It's an honor to be here with you. I'm so happy that I was able to to stop in here. And I'd just like to say a quick prayer before I run. And it's it's a privilege to be with all fellow people who are trusting God because God is the answer to saving our country and to healing our land and to restoring us and to providing for all of us. So dear God, I just thank you this day, Lord. I thank you for this beautiful day. I thank you for these people who are here looking to you. As Michael said, Lord, the judges that are in there right now, your word says in Proverbs that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. And like a river, you steer it to the right and to the left, Lord. We just ask that you touch the hearts of these judges right now and that we would find favor in your sight. 
touch their their hearts, Lord, to give us favorable judgments, Lord. I ask also, as Michael uh, lifted up, the people who are hurting right now, Lord, you, you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Lord. I just ask that you provide for every person who is hurting financially, for every person who is hurting with a, that needs a healing, Lord. And we just trust you, Father, for you are worthy to be praised. I praise your name. I thank you in advance for what you're doing. I ask that you give, uh, keep your angels in charge of every single person here. Give Michael, the, continue to give Michael the wisdom he needs to lead this group and to lead this movement, Father. So we just humbly, humbly come before you. We thank you and we do take authority over the devil for the word says in Luke 10, 19, that you have given us authority to tread upon scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy. So we will not fear, Lord, because you, you, God, are in our corner. You are the great provider. You are our great healer. And it is in whom you, in you, whom we trust, Lord. So I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Thank you guys. Uh, have a good thank you so day. much for being here. He's in there ready. <laughs> and God bless your family. Congratulations thank you. today. Thank well, you very thank much. You. All thank the way. You. Very awesome. Oh, very, very nice. Thank you. Anybody else want to say a word? Go for it. Uh, well, back here. Um, honored to be here today. I don't know how many of you all have children. Uh, I have a little boy. Um, I'm blessed to have him. Uh, I, I have a scholarship. I have him in Catholic school in uh, Nazareth County. He loves it. I don't want to take that away from him. Uh, these lunatics, a month from now, they get back in. Anyone thinks all these mandates are not coming back and then some is living in wild, wild land. All right? They will take this as far as they are allowed. They will not stop, all right? Occupationally, it hasn't affected me yet. I work off the books, all right? Eventually, it will affect everyone all across the board. And unfortunately, the kids will suffer the most. They're innocent. And I've lived in this state almost oh, my entire life, almost 50 years. Stay with my father. I don't want to leave, if I have to, go to Florida, whatever, for my little boy. I will not give him this poison. I will not give him. If I have to take that away from him and go to another state, I will. I don't want to. Uh, I'm glad that we are all here to speak to the man upstairs and ask for these folks in there to finally say, enough of this insanity. Enough. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anybody else to join the circle? Come on in. Yeah, if you want to join the circle, you can come in. Please do. Please do. All right. Very nice. So, with, with the circle circle here. Is Casey coming back in? Yeah, she got the, you know, Jesus going on. All right. So, um, I just, I just ask, I just ask everybody now if you could please bow your heads. This is nothing of any one faith. This is nothing of any one religion when I ask you to do this. I just ask you to do this to focus your intent and concentration. Focus it in your body, in your heart, in your soul. Focus it to connect with whatever your higher power is. My religious exemption spoke of Catholicism and Buddhism. That's what I was raised in. That's what's in my heart. Whatever is in your heart, kindly ask that you go to that place. And you go to that space. And you feel that energy and that love that only the Most High can fulfill. God the Most High in all of your names, in all of the names that we call to you, Christ, Jehovah, Buddha, and all the wondrous names, too many for me to say here, or to remember here, or to put out, we come to you in that fashion. We know you are here now. I can feel you are here now. We come to you humbly, asking for your guidance, your wisdom, and your support. Please hold those up who are breaking. Please bring bounty to those who have none. Please bring employment. Please bring good news. Please bring faith and goodness to all those who lack it in this moment now. And God, we ask you to please have a special place in this moment 
for those who held the line against the illegal mandates, for those who held the line, lost their job, and lost much more in many cases. Please hold us in a special place in this moment, in that courthouse behind us, and in the minds, the hearts, and the souls of those who our future and our fate lies in their hand. Lord, and also know that I am at least smart enough to know that I do not know what you know. <laughs> so please know that if things don't go the way I think they're supposed to go today, that's okay. Please know that if we are not victorious in the court behind us today or in the near future, that's okay. Please know that I still have not lost faith in you. Please know that we have still not lost faith in you. And we know that you are the way you hold the answers. And we just pray that you help us to find how we are to support you and how we are to move forward. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Mike. Uh, I want to say something right quick. Uh, yeah, please do. John Gilmore reminded me that I am a Drew State chaplain, so I guess I got to say something, right, John? So do it, Dion. I just want to say that I want to thank everybody for being here, and that this is bigger than all of us, and that this whole situation is testing everybody's faith. You'd be surprised how many atheists all of a sudden want their privileges accepted. So they say, you know, as man plans, God's left. I got you my prayer for all the morning. God doesn't count numbers. Now, we're all here because Iron Trump is on. So, like Martin Luther King says, we're all like him. You know, you cannot legislate morality. Everything that's legal is not right. Everything that's right is not legal. So, as a part of Lexington, I'm amongst my own people who have turned on me for this whole situation, like Kanye West right now, Kyrie Irving, all bunch of people. Even Nicki Minaj was legalized. She actually paraphrased what her cousin said. And hopefully, I pray that everybody's eyes will open this whole situation. And faith without works is death, mm. as they say. And a lot of times, a lot of us, even myself, had moments where I felt as though I actually hoped I was wrong. And in which I was so guilted and shamed in social issues. I was like, well, maybe I should be wrong that I, and what I'm doing, I hope I'm not killing anyone. Or I'm making anybody sick by every breath I take country, in the city, and on the subway, you know, even though we looked at common sense and critical thinking, we said, wait a minute, most of the causes of COVID are in the home, so what does that have to do with being in the business on my job on the subway, you know, most of the time when these uh, vaccines come out, or these medicines come out, it's always an actress that says, the proper diet and exercise, and so some of us turn to God to seek out wisdom, understanding, and it needs the absolute power. Now, mind you, a lot of ministers did take over people's faith, and they did die. But then they came to look around today, and a lot of people are suffering from the heart condition. They died left and right. That's what you need to start celebrity, to start these children, you know. And we're all questioning our faith. But now, we're a part of something that's bigger than us. We have each other. That's our God. Michael Caine has become a position of, which I'm sure he even seen something. He myself, being a calm and stuff, I've seen the world look up to me to flex it with such hope about school choice and homeschooling and so demonized. And now in black America from six percent, seven percent more of homeschooling because of this scenario and more. The children's fund which gets the partial scholarships to go to private school town aren't so bad after all. You know, thanks to John Gilmore, the first time meeting him in person two weeks ago, we went online, did an anti vax mandates workers' rights form where we did provide Pastor Earl with the religious exemption, Dr. Kaminsky with incredible exemption. Patricia Lindsay, the only black law firm fighting this case by herself um, as well. So I just want to give encouragement to everyone here. We have a big circle. You know, as the saying goes about marriage, you know, when God gets together, let no man uh, live asunder, kind of deal. And uh, hopefully these words of encouragement will help you guys all in charge of spiritual marriage with work. Because I know friends, family, social media, and God all at some point you turn their back on you. You need to question yourself. You're a lot of people. Okay. So hopefully that communicable just the right capital of this, you know, come down beyond all our circumstances, beyond those other kind of problems. So thank you all for coming.
me. And I uh, hope and pray and I know we all ready to see other people forward. And hope that nothing else, an outside evil force, has gotten our mind ever again. Amen. 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 All right, excellent. So we have another. Go for it. Go for it. Um, yeah, uh, we're, we're very grateful to live in a where we have a freedom to speak without worrying about being disappeared. And um, we've got to exercise our rights. We're given human rights. We have a responsibility to exercise it. The regime and power, is, uh, they are dangerous. And they must be removed this uh, November. So we've got to exercise our skills and talents to make sure that this regime is replaced coming November 8th. I also figure back on this, God is funny because it's united so many people that hate each other. I've seen so many people in these streets all the way from Black Lives Matter t-shirt words, all the way to Make America Great Again t-shirt words, National Election Network, NAACP, so many people who they thought would hate each other, or should hate each other, or totally hate each other, were taking pictures together in common thanks to Frank McCain and some other people bringing them out of the woodwork. So this was John critical. Yes, good point. That's God at work. Yes, that's God at work. That's God at work. God at work. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's something that should be also encouraging. So if anybody says, you know what, maybe Trump is not so bad, or maybe Joe Biden is not so bad, hopefully you can hear them out because there's a certain point in time when it's even beyond those folks, those beliefs and their systems, the small systems, you know, hopefully as they say now, liberty to us capital. Very good. Excellent. So it's about in about 10 minutes, it'll be 10 o'clock. That is our second prayer point. We're going to go <clears throat> in front of the building and do it. Um, they might chase us off. <laughs> they might come and say something. The number one issue, we need to leave a pathway for people to walk by us. We can't block the flow of people coming in. And if we just did what we just did here, over there, I don't really see much of a problem no, coming no, from right. there. Right hand to the building. Uh, yeah, that's what. That's why I said before. It's like Dragon Ball Z, where everybody should hate to go back. <laughs> no, seriously, that's that's what Dragon Ball Z is. Great idea. So, so let's so let's do this. Let's start in a circle in prayer. We'll say prayer, and then Casey, when that moment comes for us to do it, which will be pretty quick, you t turn us all to the building, and we'll all put our hands up. Okay. All right. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Great. So we got about nine minutes to go across there and to set up, and we'll go. We'll go What's up? Time, place, and manner restriction for why they can do what we can do in front of the building. Time, if place, and manner? Right. Like, that's how they're allowed to restrict, like, they can put time, place, and manner restrictions on governmental buildings that limit, like, what you might be able to do on a sidewalk. Right. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We're just going to step up and to pray there. Get your stuff together. Let's go over there. One nation under God. Remember that?